So recently, AIMS released a November 2022 INICT examination notice on its website just four days ago and the date of examination for November INI is 13th November 2022. So in this video, I want to talk to you about your November 2022 INICT examination. What should be your two month strategy? So just a brief disclaimer, this video is not intended for someone who's already started studying continuously for a year or a half from a particular source and also not intended for someone who's already started their revisions for, for the upcoming November INI. So if you are one of these people, you can stop the stop watching the video and maybe watch something more productive by Aditya or Zainab. It, this video is specifically intended for someone who is an intern, who does, who does not have a time to study or is a post intern who hasn't started his study seriously or is just waiting for his NEET PG counseling. They have already gotten, uh, they have already uh, gotten a rank in NEET PG and just waiting for, for the counseling and they they want to attempt the November INI. So this video is specifically intended for them. So just a brief introduction about me. Uh, I'm a 2012 batch AIMS Onion from AIMS New Delhi and currently a senior resident in the Department of Radiology at AIMS New Delhi. Back in the day, I secured a rank 4 in AIMS PG and a rank 11 in PGI Chandigarh. So let's just get started with the video. So today is 3rd September and your final exam will be on 13th November. So we have around two months duration during this period. And I have divided this uh, whole period into two parts, the last 12 days and the remaining of the period. So last 12 days I've kept separate because that will be the time well, when you'll do your revision. Just one revision now because you only have around two months and from 3rd September to 31st October, this is the time where you'll study. So now what are the three important pillars of INICT preparation? In, in my opinion, these are the crux of your INICT preparation. First is that you need to know that you do not need to get 200 out of 200 questions correct. If you are able to get a 140 out of 200 questions correct, you will get a top 100 rank. And this is coming from someone who has gotten, gotten a lot of questions in, in his May INICT examinations wrong. I still got rank 4. Because I knew that out of 200, I need to get, I need to have a final score of just 140. So you have a room of around 45 questions to get wrong and 45 questions is a lot of questions. So you don't actually need to worry about questions like what is the half life of Letrozole. These questions are irre irrelevant. They don't determine your rank at all. Second important pillar to know is that previous year topics are repeated again and again. Now this has been said multiple times on YouTube now. Uh, more so I believe that more than previous year questions, previous year's topics are repeated because the exact questions doesn't get repeated as such. But the topic is definitely, definitely repeated and these previous year topics form around 70% of a question paper. And I'm not saying this randomly. So I analyzed the last five years INICT questions of surgery from 2000, May 2021 to uh, all the way till 2017. I analyzed the, all the previous year questions from Marrow. And I realized that in these uh, five years, the most important topics were repeated again and again. So the most important topics in surgery for the past five years has been general surgery, trauma, breast, thyroid, GI, urology in this order. And this hasn't changed. So this is like a mind blowing thing that you should know that previous year topics are the only ones that you should be focused on right now. And you do not need to know the entire subject in its entirety. The third important and the most important point in my opinion is the revision in the last 10 days. So if you are able to make sure that you have studied in these two months in such a way that you are able to revise this entire syllabus in the last 10 days, I think you will definitely get a very good rank. So in my opinion, these three are the very important pillars that you should focus on in your NPG in your INICT preparation. Number one being that you do not need to get 200 out of 200 questions correct. Number two, you only need to focus on previous year topics and number three, you have to revise everything in the last 10 days. And so as I've said in the previous video as well, that uh, for I9 CT, the first and second prof form, form a major po a portion of your questions and the final third and fourth prof, prof forms 80, uh, around less 40% uh, of your question paper, only around 80 questions come in the third and final prof. And hence you should focus more on the first and second prof during this time because their, uh, their subject is limited, the knowledge is limited and that is more high yielding. Also, it's been a lot of time. Just revise in the last 10 days and vomit out on the day of the examination. Now, a very important point, what to read. So in the last, in these two months, just focus on first and first and second prof, followed by minors and majors do only if you have time and do it at the end. So before I tell you what to read, let me tell you what you don't have to read. So you don't have to read Ofta, don't have to read ENT, medicine or anesthesia. 
I think spending time on these subjects will will take up your time, and the yield of these questions uh, questions coming from these subjects is very less. So a lot of questions of your medicine will be solved by uh, pathology, pharmacology, and microbiology. And also, I'd like to say that don't waste your time doing question bank right now. Just do previous year questions and just read through in these two in these two months. So we'll start with first and second year anatomy, biochemistry, pharma, path, micro, psychiatry, and biostat, as well as physiology. So, in my opinion, for these subjects, first aid is a very, very good source. It is very high yielding. It is just one book that you have to read, and you can concise your previous year question knowledge into into each of into each subheading of first aid, each subject of first aid. So, for example, biochemistry in first aid is around forty forty five pages. So, your whole biochemistry will be covered in these high yielding forty five pages, which you will be able to write in the last ten days. For anatomy, I think first aid is not at all sufficient for uh, anatomy. I would See that you can watch Dr. Ashwini video, Ashwini's video, Dr. Ashwini's video on YouTube. They are available for free. And what I did that I opened Netter side by side, and I used to write my notes in Netter as well, so that I know the width pages I have to revise in the last ten days. Now for pharma, micro, psychiatry, biostats, physiology, I think first aid should suffice in its entirety if you are just if you just have two months of preparation. And for pathology, just read first aid and Devesh Mishra for just for hematology. Hematology is the most important uh, topic uh, in pathology, apart from general path. But just focus on pathology now. For minors, uh, ortho, derma, forensic, surgery also I consider minor because in my opinion, surgery only has uh, six, seven uh, topics which you need to focus uh, highly, and they can be done in five to six uh, days if you know from where to read. So from for these all subjects, minors and few major topics. Just read previous few questions, and whatever notes you already have, you just revise them. So, ortho, derma, forensic, there are less number of notes because there are they are shorter subjects. So, for ortho, what I did that I had Apoor Mehra's uh, ortho doom dhadaka. So, in his review book that Apoor Mehra has in the last fifteen to twenty pages, he has summarized his whole orthopedic review. That is also very high yielding. Derma me just read do previous few questions and Nina Khanna's uh, images. Forensic, you have to have uh, your own notes. I think Dams provides a very good note. Very good notes if you uh, can get them. Surgery, Washington Manual of Surgery is very crisp, concise, high yielding book for you to revise for all the important topics that are after nine ICT. So it has very good uh, trauma, breast, general surgery, peripheral artery diseases, hepatobiliary system burns. So all important topics will be very well covered in Washington Manual of Surgery if you have if you have paucity of time. Similarly for gyne uh, for Hobson gyne gyne from the major bulk of ICT questions and Johns Hopkins Manual is a very good book for you to reference to have an evidence based knowledge of the various cancers. In Pete, I think just reading the first ten chap chapters of Gai, including neurology, would suffice. Now, how to approach each subject since you only have two months? In my opinion, just give five days to each subject, and you will be able to do at least seventy to eighty percent of the of the previous. Uh, previous asked uh, topics of these questions. So in the first day, I think first day of your when you start a subject, the first day should be the most important day. So in the first day, just do the previous year question of the last five five years. So five years I N I C T question, uh, I N I C T previous year questions uh, come to around ten papers, and so in each for each subject you make a table that in each I N I C T what were the questions asked in each subject. So what I did was I made a table for uh surgery so in each inict exam i wrote the uh, important topics so let's say general surgery trauma breast thyroid and while doing previous year questions first the advantage that that i got to know what the important topics were and in each important topic i got to know what was the what what was its weightage so as i told you earlier in surgery general surgery trauma and breast and thyroid they form the bulk of your questions and hence you will get to know on the first day itself which are the topics that you need to focus and so from day 2 to day 5 just read the topics which you have understood will come based on your previous year questions during this time don't try to learn and memorize everything just make concise consolidated notes your a uh, whole process of revision which you will do in the last 10 days will make sure that everything in your memory gets consolidated and don't extend your uh, study for a particular subject beyond day 5 So, if you follow the strategy by October thirty, you'll be able to make high yield notes of around fourteen subjects because uh, minor subjects like for instance, uh, ortho and derma will take around three days, not five days. 
and so from 1st november to 12th november just revise whatever you have read till 31st august 31st october it does not matter if you have you are able to con- uh, read every each and every subject and it does not matter if you get a good rank also at this point of time because what will happen is it will get the process started and if breaking that initial inertia i think is very important where you start when you are studying for a pg entrance exam so if you start studying now for inict if you target inict in november this time i'm sure you'll be able to crack the neat pg that will happen in uh, next year early, next early year or the may inict that will happen in next year so in my opinion this is a very doable uh, task which uh, all of you can try when you're starting just just try to say ki i'll read only 4 hours today i initially start with just 4 hours today and just for the first day just to previous your questions so once you start doing that you will build confidence ki okay i know in each subject what are the important topics and hence you can tailor tailor your preparation towards that uh, important topic only so i hope you like the video and uh, uh, if you have any query you can put it down in the comment section